What's up, CFO gang? It's your boy, Jay Tuck. Cowboys haters, real Cowboys fans stand up. But you're now tuned into the Cowboys fans only channel. So if you're new, do us a huge favor. Comment, like, subscribe. Somewhere down there, somewhere down there, somewhere down there. And be sure to turn that notification bell to stay updated with all Dallas Cowboys content. Of course, follow me on Twitter at JTuck151, Instagram JTuck151, and TikTok JTuck151. And last but not least, CowboysFansOnly.com. Use the code CFO Gain and get 10% off all your purchases. Yo, Cowboys Nation, I want to thank you. We reached our 3,000 subscriber mark, so I appreciate all support. Everyone who was tuned into the live show last night, we were one subscriber away, and now we're well above that threshold. So salute to everyone who subscribed to the channel. We had a lot of new viewers last night. So welcome to the family. We're going to continue to grow and get this thing on moving for 2022. So, you know, we got some news today, Cowboys. Cowboys Nation, and it's that time of the season, right? Not every team is competing for playoffs. Not every team is competing for playoff seating and division titles like we are, of course. I still got my NFC East champ sat on, man. I'm feeling good, man. But not all teams are, are competing like us, man. So some teams are starting to worry about the future. They're starting to get ready for 2022 and next season. The thing that typically happens around this time of year is that teams start to look for who is going to be their next head coach. And so the news broke today that the Jacksonville Jaguars, you know, they had their whole situation with Urban. Urban Meyer didn't last too long, so they are starting to get into the look for their new head coach. Now, a few names was tossed around. Our old friend, our old pal from Philadelphia, Dougie P. You know, Dougie P could possibly make a return. I think they're going to interview him. Um, also, uh, the Bucks offensive coordinator, Byron Leftwich, who I was a fan of, you know, throughout his playing career. And he's done great, you know, at his time with Tampa. But two of our guys have been mentioned. Kellen Moore, our offensive coordinator, and also Dan Quinn. So I know a lot of Cowboys fans are like, bro, Tuck, what's going on? They can't take our offensive coordinators. Now, I want to say this. It's it, it's split. It's split with me. And I'll be honest with y'all. I think there's a possibility we can lose one of them. But I feel like the most important one that a lot of Cowboys fans are hoping that we keep, which is Dan Quinn, I feel like there's a great chance that we keep Dan Quinn in-house. I know Dan Quinn came out and spoke. He said he didn't take this job to be interviewing for a head coaching job. He wants to be a defensive coordinator. He enjoys what he's doing. And I believe him. You know, sometimes when these coaches kind of give these spills, like, you know, I love being here and this is my home and, you know, it's great being in Dallas. Like, that all sounds good, but we all know money talks. You know, Chris Tucker, you know, money, money talks. And so, but I don't get that feel. I don't get that vibe when it comes to Dan Quinn. I feel like Dan Quinn wants to be a defensive coordinator. I feel like he likes the team in Dallas. I feel like he likes coaching with Mike McCarthy. He likes his players, and I feel like he's happy. And sometimes that's the most important piece because what we got to realize, when you're a head coach, there's a lot of different hats that you have to wear. Like, you can't just focus on the defense. You got to be aware of every little thing going on. And I think that Dan Quinn got a taste of it at Atlanta. And I feel like he is a lot more comfortable where he currently is being the defensive coordinator for the Dallas Cowboys. Now, Kellen Moore is a trickier situation, Cowboys Nation. Now, we know Kellen Moore did interview with the, the Philadelphia Eagles last year. He didn't take that job, and rightfully so. Who would want to coach in Philly? Um... But he also had the opportunity to go back to his alma mater in Boise. And like that where, because like you guys know, I like Kellen Moore. Like I'm not an anti Kellen Moore guy. I like Kellen Moore. I like Pizza Boy, you know, so I know a lot of fans are kind of eh, with them, but I like Kellen Moore. Um, but he had the opportunity to go to Boise and take that job where it's your alma mater. It's college football. It's not like it's the SEC. Like you could be that guy in Boise and really just write your own future and do what you want to do and recruit and have the Dallas Cowboys star, you know, behind you saying, I used to coach Dak Prescott and these types of players when you go to recruiting trips. So Kellen Moore gave up a great situation to be the head football coach in Boise to come back. I don't think that Kellen Moore would do that, pass up Boise, come back to Dallas, being an OC, have a decent season and then go to Jacksonville. 
I just don't see it. And I said this on Twitter. If, if, if Kellen Moore does that, he's not as smart as I thought he was. Because why would you want to give up the abundance of talent that you currently have here in Dallas to go through a rebuilding process in Jacksonville? So I think that Kellen's going to take the interview. I think that Dan Quinn maybe will take the interview as well. Now, me personally, I don't like that the NFL allows teams to interview during the season. Because right now... I want my coaches focused on their current job right now because we all know we all have jobs. We have real lives. When we start to interview for other jobs while we're working a current one, our thought process tends to get spread. You're thinking like, well, man, that was a damn good offer. Well, should I stay? I mean, I like the benefits. And you, you start having these conversations mentally. I want our offensive coordinator and our defensive coordinator to be mentally clear to focus on this Dallas Cowboys team. So we'll see if they take the interview. Now, I say that saying this, when it comes to Kellen Moore, there's another job offer out there that's floating around that I think is really going to pique his interest, and that comes to the, the Las Vegas Raiders. They have talent. They have a veteran quarterback. They have Darren Waller. Like They have more in-house currently than the Jags do. So I feel like if the Raiders make a call to Kellen Moore, he is going to be a lot more interested in taking that job than a rebuilding situation in Jacksonville. But we definitely got to keep our eyes on it. Um, but I feel like if we're going to lose a coach, I feel like Dan Quinn will be the coach that will stay. I feel like if we're going to have to pick a coach that we're going to lose in the offseason, Kellen Moore would definitely be that guy. But... Here's the fun thing about that, Cowboys Nation. It ain't the offseason right now, right? You know what I'm saying? It ain't the offseason. So we ain't got to worry about coaches leaving because, honestly, if we win a Super Bowl, everybody can go. Everybody can go. But, you know, they kind of posted on um, CBS today that the Cowboys are dominating in several levels this season. It's our offense. Yards per game, 409.5. That's the NFL first. Let's drop a bomb for that. Points per game. 30.5. We are first in the NFL. Let's drop a bond to that. Now let's go to the defensive side of the ball. Takeaways, right? 33 takeaways. If you watch our show this summer, the magic sauce to being competitive in the NFL is turnover margin and takeaways, and we're currently first in that. And then opposition third down percentage, right? Not allowing teams to have that third down and get a first down. Dallas Cowboys defense, we first in that. So, Cowboys Nation, like I said yesterday, do not let any of these mainstream media talking heads talk you out of being confident about your team. Statistically, visually, Everything that we're seeing is coming together at the right time. Cowboys fans, you should be excited about what you see. I, I And my guy Nick said this. He's like, it's crazy to think that fans are now saying, I bet you won't win the Super Bowl. Like, that's that that's their comeback for the Dallas Cowboys fans right now. It's like, you guys won't win the Super Bowl. That's it? Like, damn, we came, we came far from last year because last year it was like you guys wasn't going to make the playoffs and this and that. And this and that and was like, well, you're not going to win the Super Bowl. Knock it off. So like I said, Cowboys Nation, don't let anyone talk you out of being confident for your team. I'm loving what I'm seeing. We're starting to get healthy, get some guys back um, from the reports of what I'm reading that Tyron Smith will be playing on Sunday. So we will have our starting offensive line out there, which I'm excited about. Um, I think Jordan Lewis is going to return off the COVID list. Also Malik Hooker. And so we're at Tristan Hill as well. And so I'm excited, Cowboys Nation. Now, like I said, they are making changes with this whole COVID situation, COVID protocols right now, trying to decrease it to like a five-day quarantine window if you're vaccinated. So that is the one thing that really concerns me, and not only me as a Cowboys fan, just fans across the NFL, with players being out and missing games. And, you know, we don't want that to hit us at the improper time. But besides that, just from a football perspective, I'm excited about what I see from this Dallas Cowboys team, and I am so ready for Sunday versus the Arizona Cardinals. I'm ready to get to this matchup because the Cardinals, they dog walked us last year without Dak. They came into Dallas, they dog walked us, they, they walked all over our stadium, and it was bad. It's time that we return the favor this Sunday versus the Cardinals. So we're definitely going to be breaking down that matchup this week. So you definitely want to turn that notification bell to stay updated, man. So your boy, Jay Tuck, comment, like, subscribe. 
follow me on social media at jtuck151 and of course cowboysfansonly.com to get your merchandise i want everyone to stay safe stay blessed stay encouraged if you need help ask for help you know take care of your mentals and of course go cowboys peace